actually Miss Booker. Well, that's because our new supervisor's a real slime ball. I agree. That Mr. Faber's a pain in the butt. Pardon my language. You sewer mouth! <laughs> you know, Faber wouldn't get on my nerves so much if he just die. <laughs> right? No, no, death's too good for him. Yeah, what he really deserves is to have to work for himself. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. I think we should explore this death idea a little further. <laughs> Are you hands still cackling about the new rooster? When we find a rooster, Lou, we'll cackle. <laughs> Okay, Lou, how? How do you handle favor? Two words. Look busy. Oh, really? Well, I got two words for you, Lou. Anyway. <laughs> well, you little ladies enjoying your lunch? Well, the veal is très bien, and how is your swordfish, sis? As usual, the food is to die for, but the ambiance stinks. <laughs> hey, uh, Blondie. Your workstation's a mess. Well, we always clean up at the end of the day. <laughs> I know, but your area is an obvious safety hazard. And if you'll refer to the employee's manual, you'll note that the supervisor is responsible for spotting and eliminating safety hazards. Well, great. While you're doing that, can we see the dessert tray? <laughs> I hate to give an order twice. Ah, oh, sit down, Blondie. This here is a job for a brunette. Super brunette! I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to her. Well, then you're obviously tampering with destiny here, because I read my horoscope today, and it said, um, career advancement possible if you're willing to sweep up little bits of plastic on your lunch hour for no apparent reason. <laughs> Why, one thing I hate to see in a plastics factory is little bits of plastic laying around. Well, they won't be laying around much longer, will they? So you just gonna stand there and watch me? Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Well, that's a big decision there. I guess that's why they pay you the big bucks, huh? Will you hold this for a minute? Honey, I'm not here to hold. I'm here to supervise. Oh, yeah, I get it. Shirt, tie. That's what you do. I must be stupid. Yeah, when you're right, you're right. <laughs> yeah. How long you been here, anyway? Long enough. Your uh, personnel file says 11 years. You know, the last three supervisors was checking out my personnel file, but do you see any of them around here? <laughs> your work is great compared to your attitude. Oh, well, I'm just keeping the morale off, you know, trying to make your job easier. That's what I'm talking about, your attitude. Now, my brother has this dairy farm. You know, some of those cows take to milking right off. Some of them take a little longer. Every once in a while, you run across a real stubborn one. But you know what? Sooner or later, they all give milk. Well, nothing like a little livestock story to start out the day. <laughs> I think you know what I mean, sugar. Girls, you'll never believe what he wanted me to do. Oh. Well, well, Mr. Faber. 